Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, here is the official procedure to calibrate your Texan PL990X as the instructions that are given are absolutely wrong. So tune a strong AM signal that you know is accurate. The best example is WWV and thanks to the tones it makes it easier for WWV uh, for fine tuning. Now the radio isn't perfect, so between upper and lower sideband there's a slight few hertz of differences, but it, you know, your calibration will be as close as it can be for this radio. So what you do, once you've tuned, you will go into upper and lower sideband to compare to make sure that you try to zero beat with the fine tuning button. So here we go. I intentionally made it worse so you guys could see an example. So here you see, this is as close as we are, zero beat, to the AM signal. So if I switch off, we're going to go back again. And we're going to do it again. Here's the tone, upper sideband. So the tone is pretty much what it is as close as we can be once you find that tone that is as close as possible to what the AM signal is. You press the USB button and hold it until the display flashes. It's going to tell you the offset that you've given the radio. Uh, from from where you were uh, most of the time and now you're zero beat so now tuning a single sideband signal will actually be perfect and on the spot every time without having to use the little fine tuning for offset so it's weird that the manual doesn't say it like that but it's as easy as that you tune an AM signal that's strong enough you compare the upper lower sideband to make it as close zero beat as possible you press the USB button and hold it until the display flashes and your radio is calibrated. It's as easy as that, but you need to have that working. So it works fine. I want to thank Dan Robinson uh, that posted the information on the shortwave uh, Facebook page, official SWL channel Facebook page. And uh, also this um, information apparently comes from Anonco, uh, Anna at Anonco that has sent this uh, information to calibrate. So now, when you tune your zero beat and you can tune USB signals, I don't know if I have one yet, I think I can uh, do 6604. I don't know on what frequency. I would have. Here we go. So it's not very strong, but here you have a weak Gander radio that is actually zero beat. Unfortunately, signals are not very strong, so it's hard to... Uh... So it's uh, the way to calibrate, which is not at all how it was explained. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.